I yoga fire solo pod this week. Had an India stomach virus crazy experience. Yeah, I was the man of right now. It's super malnourished. Oh, I had a rice crispy bar and a red bull for breakfast because my mom's in India. And if you guys want more solo pods, let us know. Call us up. Call us up right. on WhatsApp. All right, welcome back to the HBM podcast. Today we're doing a solo episode because Manrov got back from India and he's jet lagged. Yeah. Shit. This guy looks like he wants to not be here. Nah, but here. I'm actually chilling, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> we're at my house. I would not have even opened the door for you, all right? If I didn't want you to come over. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's pretty sick, yo. Solo podcast today. It's kind of nice, yo. Got a new studio? Yeah, yeah, we're in a new studio too, yeah. yo. Love Basically, you. we just got a bunch of builders at my house right now. You know, we're renovating, building the actual studio. Oh, we'll talk about that later in the podcast too. We got an actual, we got some surprises, some like announcements for to make for you guys and stuff yeah. like that. But without further ado, I'm just gonna crack this red. I already bowl right cranked now. mine, bro. Before the podcast, it. I had to. Yo, just go back to India. But yo, man, yeah, a lot of exciting yep. stuff to talk about. I felt like this environment felt more like a cozy at home vibe too, which ultimately, like, I don't want this podcast to feel like scripted or weird or like we're yeah. like in some nutty place we're literally like in my family living room yeah. you know daddy's at work type vibes just talking about like <laughs> honest stuff that everybody can relate to bro 100 percent, 100 percent. so without further ado i wanted to actually get into it right away um india obviously you went to india yeah, for, not in uh, india punjab right punjab, i know yeah. a lot of people are on the whole vibe where it's like you don't want to be name dropped in india you want to be name dropped in punjab yeah 100 because that's who we are yo even though the rest of india is kind of sick obviously like Punjab is my number one. You know yeah. what's actually pretty crazy though is that the name Punjab, how it's like five rivers. Yeah. And like, I don't know the exact number, but it's definitely not five rivers in Punjab anymore. No, it's not, not anymore. And like, even the ones that are, they're like so dry. You like go over these bridges and it's just like sand and like a little bit of water. It's pretty sad, yo. Yeah. But it, there's that whole thing, you know, Siddhu Musiala's SYL song? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how like they made like these man made rivers to take the water out of Punjab to other states. So crazy stuff, yo. But yeah, yeah, that's not. Do you know obviously we'll dive that into that. In Punjab future. was nuts, but yo, yeah. actually, why did I? Why did I go to Punjab, bro? You, so, you know. Manav, you went for Guru Nanak Dev. Just go to Purb, right? So yeah, this guy knows that much. He usually yeah. forgets a lot of stuff about me. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't remember my feelings and stuff, yo. Doesn't you know? <laughs> nah, man. No, so you went for obviously Guru Nanak Dev. Just go to Purb, and then you obviously got a nice break out of it. Still studied there. It was okay. It, it was like a break, but also like I feel like when you actually enjoy your life and you enjoy your podcast and you enjoy your school, yeah. you can never really have a break, bro. Like even when I was there, yo, like we were messaging about the podcast. Yeah. We were releasing podcasts. We were doing editing shit, taking yeah. stuff out. And at the same time, I was studying every single day, like doing my coding assignments and all that. But like, not gonna lie, I enjoyed it, yo. Yeah. It's a way chiller environment to work in there, yo. If you like what you do, you'll never work a day in your life, you know? Yeah, it's just, it's That's like Aristotle, man. <laughs> you <laughs> think you're a philosopher now or something? The philosophy yeah, yo, podcast time. was watching it back and the old manager rubbed off on me man i was just like damn like this guy's whose podcast all... nimmer's reapers oh the reaper yeah, yeah podcast. i was just like dude like yeah. this guy's dropping all these gems man I was, like, that Shit. first podcast had a really good like uh yeah. story good quotes and stuff yeah, yeah I but like... i wanted to ask though so with india how was it like what's what's different because obviously you haven't been in like what in about a year now in about two years now? a year a i year. go every year you go i've been year. going every year As, like obviously you for you i haven't been for me i actually haven't been to india in like what six seven eight years now no it's been a while right like one of those people and shit, i really right? want to go back because like i haven't gone since like 2013 i last time when i was in no, eighth grade hmm. it's been a while right? that's okay i mean i don't know yeah i wouldn't say you're like missing out on a lot but like if you go there and you kind of know where to stay and the people to be around you are missing out on a lot yeah, yeah like yeah. Gurpab this year the energy was insane yo like, i saw I was, your um i saw your stories and snaps and stuff you're yeah yeah and just like yo i'd wake up so early there you know yeah. do like meditation and stuff like chill out with all my friends from like around the world it yeah. was sick yo and just like i don't know man the energy there is just like is different that's solid it's that's also like you have a little bit less freedom there like here it's kind of like oh like i have a car i could just go wherever whenever i could just leave there it's like yeah like you have to get a driver and stuff and you're more like restricted yeah. but also kind of like a good way because it forces you to just like focus on yourself yeah. It was pretty dope, yo. I'm not gonna lie. One thing you were cranking out, which the Indian government should not find out, is you were cranking TikToks in India when it's banned in India. Oh, yo, that was <laughs> nothing, man. Yo, people think, yo, people are actually stressed and they're like, how are you gonna be posting TikToks in India, yo? Like, I, was I don't know, like, like, I don't like, know how to work an iPhone or some shit. Bro, you know? I was like, yo, my podcast guest is getting picked up, thrown in some, like, jail or nah, something. No, 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 I was yo, chilling. Like, like, I didn't post anything, like, shitting on the government. I did want to post some stuff shitting on the Chinese government. <laughs> oh, because okay. I was in Hong Kong on the way on, on Cathay Pacific. Yo, low key, look, like looking back, I wish I just got the direct flight because, mm. like, uh, it was like five, six hundred more. But then I was like, to my dad, I was like, whatever, like, Cathay Pacific is sick. I remember going there when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. like, my AirPod fell between the sea and they like grabbed it for me with chopsticks and stuff. I was like, yo, it's sick. And that <laughs> airline is actually sick, but like, yo, actual China, bro, it's like, uh, 
like really cold, yo. It's weird. And I had a pretty long stay there too, like 10 hours. Mm. And like, you uh, recorded the intro to the band view podcast. Yeah, intro right? to the band view podcast. Yeah. I was kind of having a good time, but also there's like no customer service there. Like people literally talk to you like you're like a dog, especially if you're like brown, yo. Really? I don't know, man. It's just weird. Like, obviously, like I want to respect that society. It's just so different. It's so like antisocial. Like, like one time I was just dying so much, like some Asian lady was taking a picture. Yeah. And then like I was just in her frame. So I just started like doing a thumbs up and stuff. I was like, it's jokes, right? Yeah. Nah, bro. She like stared me down. Everybody started staring me down. No I thought it was about to, like, yeah. <laughs> Holy. You can't just be like there just doing stupid shit. But also like, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's man. Weird. No, so like with India, obviously too, like I wanted to ask like, you know, I saw you were traveling everywhere, you know, having McDonald's and all that stuff. From yeah, India. yeah. I know McDonald's is only at the end, yo. Yeah, like, yeah, where yeah. I go, it's, like, near Nakoda. There's no McDonald's there. Yeah. The nearest one is in, like, Jalandhar and stuff. So, like, uh, I only ended up having that on the way to the airport yeah. when you stop. And But, like, yo, there's there's two McDonald's that come when you're coming back to Canada. One, when you stop, I one at the airport. And I had, like, three McVeggie burgers from each, yo. Because that's actually sick. Is it good? Like, it's, like, the best veggie burgers you can get there in McDonald's. I would rather prefer, for, like, most food and everything, I prefer Canadian food. Don't get me wrong, yo. Yo, right yeah, yeah. but like mcdonald's man like, canadian mcdonald's sucks ass if you're a vegetarian yeah like, okay. what are you gonna have like a big mac no meat he's gonna sit there eating bread like bro <laughs> you're gonna study out like, eating bread bro what kind of I, remember that, that, yeah, I remember i used to do that no but dude uh so like obviously with india i know it wasn't always just you know super positive vibes too. you probably had some negative you know negative experiences I, don't know. I feel like i always have like yeah I some know, negative you, you look you have a positive outlook on life for sure but yeah. like i was saying you definitely had at least one negative or something that you found was like why is this here i'm annoyed by this or something right bro i already know yo i'm gonna just be real on the podcast bro yeah. like my stomach is not built for india yo <laughs> i always just end up like so sick and stuff yo like yo this uh, essentials drip i got it from pacific center the day before my flight i got a few things i was so hyped like day three in india this thing was covered in snot bro like the entire sleeve it was like done i was like dying and then i was like yo you know what you do there you have fresh fruit juice right because yeah. that shit hits different and like yeah you can have a juicer and juice in canada but the fruits here and the fruits there are entirely different bro yeah you can have like an apple here and it'll be like sweet but then you'll go have an apple there and it'll be like holy shit this is what an actual apple i don't know if it's like real they just inject sugar in it i don't really care either way though it's like better so i had some fresh fruit juice but then i had like three cups of it and it yeah. just like messed up my stomach so bad yo it was like <laughs> calcium overload or something then after what? that it's like once you get to the point of no return where you're like already sick you just start eating burgers and pizza and random like cheap ass takeout every day yo and uh, it just messes you up even more you know but like yeah i don't know man I'm not really one to get phased by that. It only yeah. sucks when you have, like, a stomach virus and you get dehydrated and tired. Mm. I don't really care about anything else, yo. So, yeah, like, but honestly, yo, if I really look at India, like, there's a lot of things I could go and complain about, right? Yeah. Like, that's a... I don't know, man. Like, that's not me. Like, that's their country, bro. Like, yeah. maybe it's ass in a lot of forms. But, yo, you'll look at people there living with, like, nothing and, like, driving, like, shitty cars. Like, whatever. They're so happy, Objectively, bro. yeah. But, like, they don't know that there's anything better out there. Yeah, 100%. Like, you know, like, those like the people living in poverty with, like, 10 kids, like, on the side of the road. Like, you look at those kids sometimes and, like, I would feel bad. I'd be like, yo, how are these kids just, like, growing up in the dirt and stuff? Like, yeah. But then I sit there and I'd be like, yo, these guys don't actually know that there's anything better out there. True. Like, to them, this could just be, like, you know, for, for all... Like, who am I to be like, yo, this life sucks. Like, you know, it might not necessarily be like that. Just because it looks like that to me. So I try to be respectful of, like, stuff like that. But That's good, yeah. Yeah, as long as, like, where you stay doesn't have, like, the toilets that are just a hole in the ground, bro. <laughs> I'm not really going to go hate on anything about India, bro. Like, that that actually sucks, yo. Like, I could yeah. never. Dude, one, uh, one TikTok I saw from you that, like, it was so jokes. It was the one where you were, like, if the people at, like, the markets and stuff figure <laughs> out that you could do the tip option on like the on like the payments oh yeah, that search. was a while ago that was yeah, before yeah. i even went to india yeah, yeah i saw it and then i like i saw it came up on my uh page after you went to after india. i see tiktok's yeah. weird like that yeah, yeah, i posted that so long ago yeah and then i was like bro like this is so common imagine you just went to like you know to go get fruit like a fruit shop like the yeah, 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 yeah. the fruit juice and, and stuff like, oh, the uncle's like, oh, right? and I was like yo <laughs> <laughs> but like honestly in india that would not fly bro no, like no, anywhere no. you go you shit on the price bro if you oh, do not no. absolutely shit on the price you're literally like uh like you have no confidence and like that's not how you do business in that country no it's not like you so don't boring. just go there and be like yo this is 50 i right, here's 50 like you, you, that's not how you do it that's not if your you parents it. see you doing that if my dad saw me just paying what the guy told me to pay he would slap me on both cheeks bro yeah. that's not how it goes like yeah, especially yeah, yeah. if they tell you from outside they give you like double the price right away so like Shit, yeah. tipping and stuff doesn't even come in the picture when it's a 
system like that, I mean, right? Bro, for us, we're, we don't, like, we fit pretty well in, right? So, like, for us, it's like, like I whenever I go to India, man. But I get shy of bargaining, bro. Do you? Yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. I got to be like, if the guy's like, saw rupee, like, like, yo, because, nah, yo, they get so personal, man. They'll be like, yo, like, nah, bro. you know, my kid goes to school, like, this far away and shit. Right? Like, I, he's, like, an international student here. And then, like, they get so, and then I'm like, whatever, bro. Here's okay. the thing. If the guy does really good service, for example, if it's like, if I go to, like, uh, the con and it's, like, super nice and, like, super yeah. well kept and the guy's super nice, nice, right? And mm-hmm. he's uh, he you know, obviously he's giving like a good deal or not even a good deal, but he's just being nice about it, and he's not forcing it, and it doesn't seem like you know he's trying to like drop. I guess so. Money. Yeah, that goes then with I'll anything. Then, then I'll give him. Extra. What if he's like chronically depressed? Like some of the shops you go to, they're just so dead inside. Like they didn't even, because like when I was in Amritsar, I was so hyped to do shopping after I went to Harmandir Sahib, like the yeah. Golden Temple. Yeah. And then I went to some shops out there, and then I remember like I was so hyped, and all these people they were just like <laughs> they're just so dead inside and stuff. Really? Maybe because it was like five six a.m. too. Yeah. Why are you lit. shopping at five six a.m.? That's a real. No, part. because you go to Prakash at night, oh, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, you're right, just right, there, right. and you, you don't want to wait till like eleven a.m. because yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah. get so tired and stuff, right? I don't know. But I then actually bartering, man. I just every time I go there, man, because like saw rupee, I'm like nah. <laughs> yeah, but you went like eight years ago, bro. Yeah, yeah, that was different. You know, like things are changing. And plus, yeah. your parents only gave you so much money. When yeah, you go yeah. when you're a grown ass man, yeah, it's like harder. it's different. You it's have harder, like yeah. the budget, you can afford to just pay them. But, like you also just want to bargain. I don't know. I think it's, like, it's so different it, it, now. It, it feels weird because if it's actually living here, you can't just go into like your Foot Locker or Sport Check. Be like, guys, like, yo, it's a hundred dollars. You can't be like, yo, I'll give, I'll give it for sixty. It doesn't work like Sometimes that. you can though. When I used to work at Home Depot, people used to do shit like that. Really? And then now and then, if they talk to a manager, yeah. But it was only really when like it was the end of the season and or like we stopped carrying a product or something. But okay. like some of these people are ruthless and they actually like end up winning here. Although I would never do that. Just because it's yeah. not a, it's not a thing here. You're yeah, kind of yeah. just like you know looking like a. <laughs> 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 Anyways. Yeah, 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 bro. All right, so India trip overall, I'll give it a out of ten. What would you give it? A hundred out of ten, man. It's the yes. best thing I've ever done. I think everybody listening should like. Not you might not be from India, not necessarily India, but try to go to like countries where people like have less, and you see new perspectives and you meet those people, yeah. and it changes your life, bro. Like from the bargaining to like uh, like mm-hmm. just the day to day life that people live to like even if you get sick there or something, it's so different getting sick in India, bro. You know what you do here? You're like oh mommy like give me Tylenol you lay in bed like tired in the in the bed sheet for like a day or two you waste like a week right you know what you do there you go to the doctor you get an injection in your freaking thighs bro like, you get you get so straight after that man <laughs> like if anybody gets properly sick there all you do they don't even have those medicines here because they're like too strong they're like properly like I think if you actually measured them they'd be like some type of opioid but it doesn't matter bro like opioids were originally made as a medicine anyways so like the fuck? if you're like super sick there you just go to the doctor and yeah. you're just like yo give me an injection you'll get straight bro like with an injection did you, did you get an injection not this year but i've gotten them in the past and it's kind of weird yo because they put them in your thigh which is basically like your ass cheek like i'm just saying thighs to be yeah. like uh you know sound good for the pod but it's basically like and then <laughs> i got it once in like when i was a kid yeah and like i uh, used to start tripping out but well, i was scarred. it's because it's so strong and there's so much fat yeah yeah, yeah. In the, i was especially scar- for you i remember because uh, <laughs> when i went to india some the, the, you know doctor fucking stabbed the shit out of me with a needle why'd you get a needle it was because i was sick in india because I, I, I when i was when i first was like went to india like it was when i was like three or four so I was young. You should go again, man. I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna go again. I wanna go. You again. should go with the right people too. You should know where to I'll go. go For me, it was such a blast because I was my day ones, bro. Yeah, like literally, like my day ones, bro. Like we would just call up a driver. We'd get a car. We'd go to the, we'd have subway. Then yeah. we'd go to a cafe and we'd be like, bro, do you listen to Sidhu Musa? Yeah. Every single person there, right? Like yeah. when you first meet them, they're like always kind of sussed out, right? They're really? like, who is this freaking random Westerner? Like, but then you're just like, bro, do you listen to Sidhu Musa? Yeah. And they'll be like. They'll be like, wow, man, wow. They like change and change. Like that's what you start small talk with now. Yeah. But everybody, he's literally like a legend, bro. In India, for sure, right? It's like all around, like for us, you know, yeah. just for like all around the world, bro. He really like did. Like you could talk to like the poorest like taxi driver in all of it, and he'll be bumping Sadhu Musiala in his car for you. Like it, it's sick, yeah. Hundred percent. It's crazy. I saw his parents got that painting, uh, or like that, like from uh. You know, you see the post where his mom and dad were just visiting like England and stuff, and they got that painting of Sidhu. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But apparently, so they really butchered that program that they did. did they? And they had like this big like Victoria style like banquet hall where they did a memorial. Okay. But apparently, it was like super oriented towards like profit, and it wasn't really like about his parents. Like his parents didn't really like it either. Oh, his parents didn't like where they. Did it just showed up for it? I don't, I don't really, I don't really read the story too closely. Yeah. They showed up, but apparently they like, I don't know if they left early, but they just weren't feeling it. Like yeah. they oriented the program straight up to just like milk the thing for content. Mm. It wasn't as much as like very respectful to the parents about what they went through, right? But yeah. Anyway, yeah. Anyways, that's a pretty heavy topic, yo. But yeah. back to like subway and like coffee and stuff in <laughs> India, yo. Like you can have like pizza, right? And you'll be like, yo, this is sick. Like people in India, like yo, normal people in India, they can't afford that stuff, yo. Like you'll go there, it'll be like. 
three, four, five hundred, which for us is like nothing. It's like a couple dollars, right? Yeah, yeah. But like you have to actually like I would talk to my taxi drivers. I would talk to the people walking the cows and like the family people there, and they're living off of like a couple grand rupees per month right really yeah yeah yeah. and then imagine you go and you get a subway for like 500 like you would never do that i would ask these guys i'd be like yo like do you want pizza like do you want coffee and they would get so hyped like i took my driver me and my friends we took our driver to this like upscale like wannabe canadian style it was weird looking back well like some wannabe canadian style cafe in jalandar yeah and this guy was shook yo he's like yo like i've never been here this is crazy but when you actually look at it these guys are making honest livings in india right and they can't just go and spend that much on it. It's really yeah. just something for like Westerners or want to be outsiders. Yeah, that's. I mean, bro, if you don't got money, right? Like, cause over there, like, like most of India is making like a couple grand a month, and they can't yeah. just go over and get pizza. Hug, get a pizza. Yeah. You know, like you can't just sit here and be like, yo, India is so amazing. They have everything from Canada there. They do, yo. But here, if like ninety percent of the population can afford like pizza, yeah. there it's, it's like ten percent. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You have to look at it like that, bro. Yeah, but that's just that's India in a nutshell, though, man. Like, I feel like obviously though, like. I, I want to go back and I'll experience it again because mm. I, obviously I loved I love going to Hamandar Sahib and I love going to like Hazur Sahib. I like the energy for Gurpur, bro. Yeah, 100%. Like, bless, man. I love, like, it's I love crazy. going to like the Kal Tak, everything. Just like visiting like just Gurdwari and stuff and just like getting to talk to people because that's what I did a lot in India. I would just go and talk to random people. When you were that young? When I was young, when I was in grade 8. Because dad I was wasn't like, yo, don't go outside. No, no, no. Because I was always with my cha guys, right? And like my mm. other cousins because they live there. So I'd always just go. They'd always just take me out. We play volleyball like night and stuff because like, they had like the, you know, the field and stuff. <laughs> volleyball. Like, yeah, bro. Those guys are sick, <laughs> man. They also screaming and stuff. I got intimidated by volleyball really? yo, by the time the ball finally comes to me i would end up missing it i just get straight yeah I've, I've had it happen a few times when i was younger and then yo i get yelled at like it was but it was pretty jokes but yeah no man uh india trip you said 100 out of 10 definitely go again hopefully when we go the spiritual aspect of it right yeah, yeah. like you can't just go to india and be like i'm going on vacation i'm gonna live in a five-star hotel and yeah. i'm gonna like you have like experience. mexico you're not living in a freaking resort you know yeah. you have to you, experience you're there to is. like do something you're there to like be around your history yeah to go see these places to feel that energy and yeah. then when you go like that and nothing to complain about, bro. You can yeah. have the worst stomach virus. You're just like happy to be there, which yeah. is me. Yo, I don't know. I saw a video the other day too. It's just some guy from India and he's using Google Translate and he's a Punjabi <coughs> trying to talk to some Baba, right? And yo, Google like, Translate people are the worst, yo. yo. No, dude, but this Baba is like, and the kid's like <laughs> trying to be like, the kid's trying to ask. some guy whipped out Google Translate yeah. on some. Yeah, because like, he was trying to ask the, the Baba because he's using he was in like some, uh, he's in like some area like at the back of like some kit, right? And he's like, why does it smell mm. bad here, right? And the, the, that's what the kid's trying to ask the Baba and the Baba <laughs> Minuni Samjali. Why you ask Stupid question though. Yeah, the whole legit, country right? smells like that, bro. You yeah. get off the plane, it smells like cow poop, bro. Yeah, man. But you get used to it. That's yeah. organic, bro. Yeah. It's better than know. smelling like burning plastic and yeah, like random carcinogens. Nah, organic. but like I said, like I don't know. I watched the video. I'm like, yo, if if we don't do something to learn Punjabi and like pass it on, the culture dies with us. You know, for like our like in terms yeah, of our yeah, yeah. Our, like I feel like the biggest thing, stuff. yo, is like is like if for any culture, like yeah, everybody's yeah. listening to this, mm-hmm. like you want to pass on like your values, your language, and all that, but you also want to like. Bro, the reason that I take pride in going to India and I never make it feel like to people like, oh, I have to go, I want to go, yeah. is because I know why this stuff is important. 100%. Like, even when I'm here, like, I'm born here, but there's so much stuff that I see that, like, in, like, Canadian culture, and I'm like, yo, like, Punjabi people do this so much better. And yeah. then there's so much I see when, like, Punjabi people do, and I'm like, yo, this is terrible. But anyways, <laughs> it goes to show, like, yeah. especially when you know your history, you know, you can learn. Through, bro, and you... You want to keep this alive. If you just like tell your kids, you're like, learn this, learn this, learn this. I have so many friends that grew up like that and they do not care about their culture. Yeah. Because I can, it's basically good as dead with them, right? So, yeah. so mm-hmm. I think that like anytime there's like a kid who like grows up and doesn't care about like their culture, or doesn't care about their language or in general, yeah. you should always blame it on their upbringing. 100%, 100% of the 100%. time. 100%. Like, yo, anything 100%. could happen. People could say, like, yo, some people just born bad. I, should, I don't think it's like that, bro. No. I'm going to be straight, it, right? It's like, never, dude, it's never the, always the kid's fault. Because here's the thing. Yeah. The kid, if you're Your young, parents might not even do it on purpose. They yeah. might not abuse you, yeah. but they might just give you such an easy upbringing that you don't know what it means to yeah. actually earn something. And yeah. it just messes you up. It's always your upbringing. I'm though. so thankful for my mom and dad. They put me in Punjabi school like right away when I was a kid, like to learn Gurmukhi, <laughs> right? So I was able to like learn like the Udara, like everything, right? Like I was mm. able to learn how to read and write from a younger age. Yeah. And like obviously I've carried it on like, I should have kept practicing. Honestly, that's my fault. And like, like I tell my parents now, and like I even my grand my grandpa, me and him sit down. We actually read Punjabi together sometimes. No way. Yeah, yeah. Cause that's he's so sweet. Cause my grandma doesn't even come visit. Oh. It's okay. That's kind of my fault. I don't really pick up her calls either. Yo, that's it's like brown family things, right? That's like I saw up, her. Man. I saw her in India, bro. It was like such a scene. She's like, oh, like did her number change? And I was like, 
<laughs> nah, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're business. fucked, man. But like, yo, so randomly call when I'm like at SFU or something, right? And I, I should pick up. Though. You I should, should do better, right? bro. Yeah. The thing is, I think someone told me this too. It's like you, you can't take for granted the time you have now with people like that because you never know how much you have left, right, with them. Mm. And like, I'm not trying to make it super senti on the pod, right? But no, like, it's true though. But it's true though, because life, man. Yeah, it's just mm. you know, like I don't know. My gra- like me and my grandma he gets so happy, man. He's like, because he's always like, yo, can you just spend five minutes with me talking to me? And I'm like, bro, I'll spend an hour. Like, what are you talking about? Right? Actually, like, yeah, that's pretty sick. Because he gets really happy, like this guy, just like because my bab- my my grandpa is always reading part or he's always reading Gurbani, so he's like mm. Gordora. So when he comes home, he just sits there and like reads like your grandpa's like a happy positive guy. Very from very his, happy. Like, spiritual stuff. Very very. Happy. I went to go see like well, I'm not gonna drop it, but yeah. I went to go see like somebody I know closely, his grandparents this year in India, because mm. like I was pretty bored that day, and he's yeah. like, yo, I'm gonna go to my village. He's like, do you want to come? And I was like, obviously, I want to come and let's go like riding motorcycle and shit yeah and then uh you know how it is right yeah 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 and then uh, but we went and his grandparents were just talking and they're like yeah like everybody who we used to know is dead now <laughs> what <laughs> bro 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 sorry this is a pretty dark topic <laughs> yeah, i was like yo, like i was just sitting really there and they're just like, like he was just like laying because a lot of times like maybe people don't hear about it as much here but like yeah. there's a certain age you can get to where like mm. Even if you, like, took good care of your body, right? Yeah. But there's an age you can get to where you're just, like, very, like, um, non-self-sufficient, right? Like, for example, this person who was saying this, they were, like, they would basically kind of just, like, lay on a manja, like, on a bed, like, all day. Yeah. And they would be able to go to the washroom and stuff, but they couldn't really do much else. And they were, like, super socially isolated. Mm. And they are like, when we heard that you were coming, it literally made our day. Which, like, yo, really? if you think about it, like, days like today where we're all in Canada and no one's going to visit them... I really feel for them because they're just kind of like sitting there, right? So then there becomes like this whole topic of like, I don't know if I would want to live to be as old as when I couldn't be totally um, like mobile and like do my own thing. Like mm-hmm. like when I couldn't even walk anymore, right? Because it, yeah. it does kind of seem like when I was talking to them, right? Super positive guy, bro. You guys know me, right? I was saying something to make somebody feel better. Yeah. But I did get kind of sad, yo, because you just like see that life, right? Yeah. But anyways, yo, like they killed it, right? Like that person is the reason that like all their children came to Canada and all that. Yeah, yeah, but, Like, yeah. yo, when you're older, yo, Shall yeah, it can be tough, man. Like you don't see that much, yeah. but it's true. All right, <coughs> solid. India topic covered. So Yo. moving on from that, I love that topic, but I enjoyed yeah. that so much. But you know, you know what? Another thing is, yeah, oh, yeah. sorry, randomly. Yeah, came yeah go up for it. Go for it. No, about no. like um, languages and cultures and stuff. Yeah. Is I was reading about how like the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Yeah. There's like a big culture clash going on. There is because yeah. you can't. Uh, there's another thing too. It's not just the culture clash. There's a lot of people being like they're upset they can't drink beer. At Qatar, at Qatar, oh yeah, you, you, can't, drink you, can't, you can't drink alcohol. <laughs> but like, yo, it's pretty crazy, right? Because yeah. like, yo, I kind of like laugh when like I see those tweets or like yeah. that stuff, and it's like, yo, Western people really thought that they ran the world, that yeah. their ideas were the best. Yeah, legit. and then you go to Qatar and you realize, like, bro, maybe not everything we do in our country is right. Yeah, like maybe like drinking beer everywhere, like crazy. Like maybe that's not the. The vibe. only thing that people yeah. believe Straight. right because i feel like sometimes when you live here and like okay like i've traveled to most of europe and like here in america and stuff and like for the most part socially yeah. we accept the same things there's nothing yeah. like drastically different but you go to the middle east and like there's the beer thing there's more controversial way, topics way more. than that yeah, yeah, more, yeah. and that they just completely reject but yo yeah. there's like millions of people living there who believe that yeah, but respect that you can't yeah. just be posting tiktoks and be like oh this sucks right? yeah like, you're bro. in their country bro like that's why even though I was very, very unhappy with my time in China because I'm not built for that, right? I'm not just going to come out of here and be like, yo, the whole society's trash. It's not, man. They their own thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You grew up there, you're like more like that. I'm just never going to China again in my life, yo. So I think maybe there'll be a podcast where I just totally rip on all of China, like all their surveillance. Like Maybe there'll be a podcast where I just completely rip on China, but like all I know is like, I ain't going to that country again, yo. Yeah, fair Dude, right. I snuck into the lounge, right? It's pretty jokes ass story. There's like, oh, I saw it. You you sent me the snap or the video of it, and it was you and your uh, cousin, I think. No, it was me and my boy. Yeah, 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 he's like my brother. Mm -hmm. We were in the lounge there, and basically, like on the way there, we got into the lounge, right? And they were just like super mean and like weird, and like they just had like barely any customer services. Anyway, so on the way back, I was kind of like these guys, right? I was like, yo, let's just see. So uh, I paid for the shower. I paid for the shower in the lounge on the Amex, and then we were there, and their time was up, right? But it's just this big ass lounge, like unlimited buffet, and like. Honestly, it was a buffet, but the best thing to eat there was, like, the apples and bananas, bro. I had, like, two apples, and but, like, the food wasn't my thing. Anyways, but, like, it was still a nice spot to sit, so, like, the hour was up, and I was, and then I talked to my bro, and he's, like, way older, right? So, like, he's, like, the man, right? And he was, like, Fuck, really, let's just keep sitting here. They're not gonna know shit, right? Mm-hmm. And then, like, usually when you're in a country, like, China, where, like, you don't know the language and you don't know how it is, like, you should not be effing around. Like, you should just go do your thing and leave, right? Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so we just chilled in the lot. I chilled there for, like, an extra hour. He chilled in there for, like, extra four hours, right? Yeah, yeah. I actually had to go because I was having stomach issues and shit. Yeah. I was going to stay there for longer. But, um... 
yeah so yo next thing you know this guy calls me right he's like yo can you come back yo like uh they want you to come and they caught me and they need you to come and like cover me and pay for me or something like that yeah, yeah right yeah. right and then uh that was a story and then i get there and these guys are just ready bro these guys are just ready they're like we know that you left at 7 28 p.m you was 300 hong kong dollars they like totally just like you know Holy. and then but like yo i'm not the type to complain i was like yo you think i don't have 60 dollars canadian but like whatever right? just dropped it <laughs> but it was kind yeah. of an l it was kind of an l yeah especially the way that they talk to you there i can't man like i said it's that country i respect it right yeah but like i grew up with like really good customer service for the most part here i can't, I can't do it there yeah i was never going back to china <laughs> Right, so Man, I made the, it my thing, bro. Like, I, I will go to Korea. I'll go to Japan. I love the culture. I love their TV show. I love everything. When you do go to Japan, China is probably pretty interesting, but I just can't get along with like the system, like the way. Yeah, Anyways, for sure. okay, should we move on to the next topic? Yeah, we're, we're talking about Qatar and stuff. You yeah, yeah. no, no, to Qatar. Yeah, like I was saying, shout out my Islamic brothers and sisters, man. Like you guys stand. That's your the strict. line, bro. Okay, okay, like, listen, listen, bro, listen. stand your guys' ground. Honestly, shout out you. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. The most, the my favorite line is just like. It's just like, shout out to my Muslim brothers and sisters, bro. Because actually, I have this one friend I yeah. made at school yeah. in my discrete math class, right? And he yeah. messaged me and like, I don't know if you know, but like a lot of like the old, even before like Suki, like a lot of like the poetry in the world and yeah. like the, the love stuff, like all of that, it was mostly written by like old Fakis and like old saints yeah. that were Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were really good at writing. Anyway, so like I have this one friend who's Arabic and like when I got back to Canada, he messaged me and like, not some normal shit. He was like, yo, like... Mrav, like uh, Vancouver has been feeling so great, right? Like I, I could sense it that you were back. He's like, I saw a bird chirp, and just that bird's chirp, like it told me <laughs> that you were back in this country, right? And I sat there and I was like, Yo, this is why all of like the good poetry that I read and like all this like stuff that I listen to is literally from this background. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they're like super oriented, and that, that, that him. Yo, man, know. honestly, man, I, I haven't <coughs> met a bad. Oh, I haven't. I have yet to meet someone that's genuinely like bad in terms of like being islamic tour like you know how islamic people get such like bad slander right for no reason literally no reason yeah right? to an extent to but an ex- also yeah, i feel yeah. like yo they stand up for themselves which is so good. much so bro. much and like, it's like, good i respect like, it i actually agree with like something i heard online which was like yeah it's pretty easy to dis like i'm just saying like i would never do any of these but like, yeah. it's pretty easy to disrespect christianity and get away with it it would take each throw but like if yeah. i posted something against which i never would if i post something against allah like or something like that yeah. i would actually be scared for like you like my safety <laughs> like, like uh, you know because yeah. bro, they really stand for what they believe which in, is good which bro. is good bro yeah, like no. everybody should be like that 100 percent. if you don't stand for what you believe in then what do you even believe in right yeah, that's right? true, man. Like, I'll, I'll stand for what I believe in, 100%. bro. Comes we, out, like, right? we, we, like, live, breathe, and, like, you know? Not online. Like, online, bro, sticky, people bro. talk a lot of sh- Bro, I'm just saying, right? Yeah. But, like, if somebody ever comes up to me in person, they have a genuine conversation where they're just shitting on my beliefs, I will actually, like... I like use all the cards and I will make sure I defend like what I believe in. Yeah, 100%. But like online, bro, when you know when you got a podcast pop and you got a TikTok pop, there's always somebody who's just hiding behind a keyboard just saying yeah. some dirty ass shit. With some, with some user ass <laughs> username. Like some random like Sabaji nickname or something, right? It's yeah. like, dude, you can't give them the time of the day, you bro. Can't, yeah. Right? So like, but in person, yo, y'all know where to find me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should drop the address. <laughs> you drop the address. You want to come have a debate about anything, yeah, I believe. Man. So yeah, no. Like I said, shout out to our Islamic brothers and sisters. Yeah, keep, standing, keep standing your ground and keep. <laughs> Guitar. yeah because like yo honestly man like a lot of people living in the west they're like way too in their heads they think that no one can think what they don't believe in like yeah they're so you know what i mean like they're stuck like, in their beliefs bro but it's a, yeah. but can you really blame them because that's all they know you know i guess I mean? so but like yo even though like there might be some things only i know i still know yeah. that like i like if i'm in china i can't just go and start doing things that are totally against their culture because i'm in their country and i should respect what they believe in even if i don't understand why people when i was in china were doing what they were doing yeah i will sit there and i will not resist it i will just go with it because i'll be like yo i don't know anything about the society i'm gonna respect it and like people in the west should know better than that you guys grew up in like we grew up in like the best like quality of life hella good education you learn about all these histories and social studies and shit <laughs> like you should know at least like uh something about yeah, like yeah. respecting other people you know yeah what's going on with the podcast so yeah. a lot's happened you guys have already heard what's going on with kanye what's going on yeah. with everything you know with but what's going on with hbm what's going on with hours before midnight yeah, right shout out us, but no nah, dude so um guys we have some announcements we want to make about the mm-hmm. podcast and just some general like you know you don't want to thank this you guys, guys. gonna be making announcements all principal style oh, yeah. we're actually recording today after like a month i don't know if you yeah. guys noticed but the last two podcasts that we dropped yeah we recorded them um, like late october early november before i traveled yeah and now that i'm back it feels good yeah i feel more grounded it's nice and yeah. like yo 
I'm gonna rip this podcast up, yo. I don't care who says a lot, yo. Yeah, straight. But yeah, no. So with the podcast, we are now in the process of building a studio, uh, like a very sick, very sick product, like production studio. We will be <laughs> yeah. introducing. Some Got new- my cousin who's a builder. He's like building the studio. <laughs> then you- my other cousin, he's like a plumber. He's like setting it up. Then my other cousin, an electrician, putting all the lighting and shit. There you go. All my cousins in the trades. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But yeah, no, so the studio's getting built. We're, we're going to add some more content to the uh, Hours Before Midnight uh, catalog. So Hours Before Midnight, the reason we didn't title it uh, podcast at the end of that is because Hours Before Midnight isn't just a podcast. And you guys will see what that means in the coming future. Uh, just, so just be prepared yeah. for that. Um, Hours Before Midnight is actually a call. <laughs> I'm not joking. No, it's no, not no, a call. No, no, no. no. It's, just a br- it's just a brand. It's just a brand, yeah. right? We're, we're getting the guest on who helped us name the podcast on next week. Yeah. And like a lot yeah. of cool stuff like that. Just a little preview. But yeah, like, yo, preview. I really wanted to just mm-hmm. put myself out there after that. That's why I did it solo. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And like, we really appreciate you guys for all the support. Like, over the last three weeks, me and Manra, or it's been a month now, but the last mm. month when we started this, we started off with what? 20 followers first day on the And account. like, yeah, you got to know that like, when we started this too, like the mentality that me and him were in and that we talked about a lot. Mm-hmm. we were like yo it doesn't matter if we blow up in five years mm-hmm. or like if it doesn't matter if we blow up tonight like we're gonna stay consistent to this because like we want to be authentic and we want to do this for the right reasons yeah. so we're on the quick fire questions now but another quick fire, quick fire question for you right yeah. is um if you could take one thing from india and bring it to canada what would it be uh i'm limka <laughs> limka i bring limka yeah like you can get limka fruit to canada right? but it's not yeah. the same bro it's like we it's like marked up times 10 Actually, yeah, there, bro. Like, Limka's equivalent of like five Canadian cents, bro. You just keep just slamming that shit. We would go have pizza. When we had pizza for the first time in India this year, I'm never gonna forget it, bro. We went out, got pizza, got a two liter of Limka. Like, for, it was done. Like, like it was finished. Like halfway through, we had to get more Limka. That shit is really good, especially when you're sick, yo. Like the people that have had Limka, they'll know. Yeah. But like seven up with salt in it does not hit. Like that's nasty. It's yeah. Salt with Limka. That was the first thing that came up, though. I don't know. Probably solid, all this stuff. Solid. All right. Ah, right, yo, quick fire question. Yeah. Are you, are you still training even after on all these podcast episodes we've been calling you fat? Are you still motivated? <laughs> yeah, no, so it negatively? I, uh, I got another 12 weeks on my program. With my 12 coach. weeks in your program? Another 12 weeks of bulking. I give you six, bro, before you quit. Yeah. Nah, nah, I nah. I've seen nah. this guy breaking down, man. Nah, these, man. Nah, no. So I got another 12 weeks with my coach and then um, then I'm going to go into a cut and then into training camp. And then I got to like, you know. What's training camp? It's like army camp? No, man. I push three day living in the mud. Army camp is rowdy. Yeah, no. I have a friend right now. He's not even my friend. I used to know him in high school. And now he's like in the U.S. Army or something. If I was ever going to enlist in an army, I'd be in the U.S. Army, bro. Because I would never be for an army that's going to freaking lose, yo. <laughs> I know those guys are winning, yo. With all the trillions that spend a year on their military budget. Holy yo, man. I feel like the sickest scenario, you know what I've always wanted to do is like, yo, you know when you see like there's U.S. military bases in like South Korea and like Germany yeah. and like all over the world. I feel like I would really want to like see what it's like to be deployed, like not deployed, like deployed. on, on stay on duty or whatever at one of those. Bro, trying to play. Like, it'd be so interesting. Life, man. quick fire uh, question. Last quick fire question for you before we end the podcast. I wanted to ask, what is your biggest challenge right now with everything going on with the podcast? Like, how has the podcast affected you? Like, how has it changed your life? Quick oh, fire, quick fire, this quick is fire. a pretty nice question. Yeah, how's the podcast affected my life? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I always kind of needed a podcast. I needed somewhere to put my ideas and shit. <laughs> the only thing is before the podcast, I would go out with my friends like uh, more mm-hmm. and I would just talk to them about how my life is going. And now there's like, it's like a podcast. It's like a thing. It's like a system, you know, yeah. it's pretty dope, bro. But I feel like I'm the type of guy who always like, I've always felt strong about things and I want to put them out there. Yeah. And now, bro, like I'm laughing, yo, like this is sick, like a so matter like, of time type thing, you know, so um, I'm not saying like I'm built for this or something. I just yeah. mean like, I don't know. Pretty sick. Solid, solid. All right, guys. Appreciate everyone tuning in for the podcast. Uh, yeah, let us know if you guys like solo pods, if you want more yeah. solo pods. We went to yap it a lot more. When you have a guest, bro, you got to make it feel more respected. You know, you got to let <laughs> yeah, him yeah. talk. A lot of people said I, I like cut off guests a lot, which is my bad because I'm kind of the main character in my head and shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, that's just how it is, you know. But Yo. so like these solo pods are kind of sick because I can just cut this guy off all the time. Yo, fuck but, off. But, like, anyways, yeah, let us know if you like the solo pods. This is obviously crazy. Good to be back yeah. from India. Like, you know, like that much time there was all yeah so it's all so like i guess like we said you know solo pod it let us know what you think in the comments below and uh just in wherever you see this yeah i'll uh, see you next week we'll crazy you guest on. We'll told you, you the guest week. for next week is crazy yeah, yeah. You know? we'll see you guys next week we appreciate all the support all right yeah. and all right bro all right